Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate your support. Um, so today we're just going to be doing a quick video about cult beauty. As you know, I have recently done one about Look Fantastic um, and I wasn't impressed with their customer service. I wasn't impressed with the way the package came to me. Um, and I've also done a video on Morphe just to go from like one extreme to the other. Um, Morphe really did a good job with their packaging. So yeah, I'm going to link that to this video when it actually goes up. The Morphe one hasn't gone up yet, but it will be going up soon. And I've got another one from cult beauty um it's only a tiny one because i did only order a couple of things um but they put it in a like considering i only ordered a couple of things they put it in a quite a big box i mean that's quite big um so we're gonna talk about that today so what i ordered was the natasha denona mini star palette i did want the natasha denona mini retro palette but cult beauty didn't have it look fantastic have got it on their site um but let's Hellered after freeze over before I I shop there again. They've got um on look fantastic, they've got a great sale on Natasha Denona palettes, but I don't feel comfortable buying from them again. Um I have bought several things down the years off them and everything's normally come alright. So it it might have just been like one of those things that just didn't come okay. Um and accidents happen, I get that. But it's the way the customer service treated me. So they've got um, the Natasha Denona gold palette on there. And normally it's £111 in the UK. It's £77.80. I was so, so tempted to order it last night. But decided not to. I would rather pay full price than give Look Fantastic my money. And to everyone else that's watching this, they probably think, are you mad? Um probably think are oh, you mad you're cutting your nose off to spite your face well yeah I agree I am um, but at the end of the day why should I give a company like that that have treated me that way my hard-earned money so no I won't be buying anything else from look fantastic um, so yeah we're gonna get into this um, cult beauty packaging now and I'm gonna basically talk about them because this video is all about cult beauty so again it's come in really good packaging and then it says go on try it now we know you want to cult beauty inside um again we've got i don't want to show you my address but we've got a returns label and cult beauty have been kind enough to put an actual free post returns label i think all companies should do that you should not have to return something that's faulty broken at your own cost i've spoken to a lot of people on youtube and they've said well you shouldn't have even had to send it back they should have just let you keep that palette i mean what use is it to them anyway and that's exactly what i said in my video the only thing it's going to go into is damages and they'll be able to claim it back off the insurance well i mean they can still claim it back whether they've got a physical palette i've shown them photographs of how the palettes come um but yeah they wanted me to go out of my way and send it to them anyway i'm glad that cult beauty have sent this i was really really panicking about the state of what this natasha denona palette would come like um but luckily you know it's come in pristine condition so inside the box it looks like that you get a really nice magazine um and it's really thick as well and it tells you about skincare and what's good for your skin um let me just there's there's an article here about wayne goss um let me put this down i used to watch wayne goss all the time i've not really been watching him that much recently wayne's well that's it so that's what it looks like um i've not read it so obviously i can't talk too much about it but it says wayne's world by wayne goss and it talks about um the really good facial cleansers 
sunscreens and stuff and it goes from a.m. to p.m. so I'll definitely need to give that a read um, and then there's just all sorts of interesting articles in here um, obviously they put this out especially for Christmas I think so people will buy stuff um, but I mean I think it's great that they've um, took that extra step it almost feels like you're getting the subscription box um, because you're getting this really really good magazine in as well um, so I like that about it um, my bank balance probably won't like that about it but yeah I do like it and then right so Cool Beauty also um, send their parcels in like paper but this one is so much more thicker than the brown paper and so much more classier than the brown paper that look fantastic scent so I don't actually mind it I would mind it if obviously um, it had broken so I'll show you the palette first so it's this beautiful beautiful Natasha Denona palette um, now I've never tried any of Natasha Denona products before they're really really expensive even these palettes here I would say are quite expensive they're on the more affordable side with them only costing £22 but I do, I do feel like they're quite expensive um, I did want to try the formula though so yeah um, I definitely wanted to get this one. I would have got this one in time anyway if they had the mini retro in but the mini retro was my number one on the list and um, this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? Um, and this shade here, oh my gosh, it looks so so nice. Um, I was watching a video on Ashley Carity and she said this particular shade here is um, it's hard to work with um, because um, there's a lot of fallout and things like that. What Ashley was saying is either use a glitter glue when you're using it, wet your brush or actually you know do your eyeshadow first. I won't do my eyeshadow first, I always do my base makeup first um, but I will actually when I use it in an upcoming shot, my stash, I don't think I'm going to use the glitter glue. Um, I'm going to try it for the very first time just with a brush and then maybe spritz my brush as well. Um, I've got to admit, I mean, I did swatches yesterday. They're just super, super, super smooth. Um, I'm going to just do some swatches on it. I mean, look at it. That's just one swatch, guys. It's so, so beautiful. That's the duo chrome. That's the shade... I think that's Orion. Yeah, I think that's Orion. Then we've got a nice transition matte shade here. Wow, that's really, really smooth. That shade is Attic. Um, then we've got kind of like a champagne. Yeah, I think it's a champagne shade there. That one there. That's the shade. Because it's gold, I can barely see what it says. Bellatrix. Um, then we've got a dark brown for the outer V there. That's that there. And then the last one is this really nice sparkling gold, which is Cosmo. Look at that gold. That is so, so pretty. And originally... Um, I wanted my sister to buy me this, she said she'd buy it for me and then I shown her the Morphe palette that I bought myself in the Black Friday sale and she wanted to buy that and I came on um, video and, and said um, to you guys um, I'm going to let my sister buy it. I was telling you guys I was going to let her buy it because it's not as expensive as this Natasha Denona one and um, she said, I sound really cheap, Andrea. And I said, no, you don't. I said, why do you sound cheap? You wanted to get it, mate, because it was a bigger palette and had nicer shades in it. She liked the pastels in it, so I decided to let her give me that palette. Yes, it's slightly cheaper, but she, it, it, but her point was like, well, I'm buying you an extra present anyway. Um, and I'm like, yeah. She said, your subscribers are going to think I'm really, really cheap. And I said, okay, I'll put it across clear that you are not cheap. And, um, you know, just inform my subscribers that it's my bad. I didn't mean it to come across the way it may have sounded. So the reason she wanted to buy that Morphe palette is because it's obviously bigger. It has more eyeshadows in it. And um, she liked the colour story of it. This one, however, I showed her this yesterday as well when I went to drop off the Morphe palette and she went, 
I don't think I would be happy buying that. Um, but it's at the end of the day, it's what you want. Um, I really, really like this. I do think it's worth the £22. I mean, look at those colours. Um, I, I just genuinely feel like it's worth £22. I don't know because I've not had it on the eyes yet. I'm definitely going to be pulling in this um, for my next upcoming Shop My Stash. By the time you've seen this video, you probably will have seen me using this. I was speaking to my friend at Beauty Dreams by Naomi and um, she said, I've not seen you do a get ready with me using Shop My Stash products for a while. I'd love to see you do that. So I feel like I'm going to use this palette. I want to use this palette and do a get ready with me. So that will be coming up next week. By the time you've seen this video, it will have already been live on the channel. So I will put it in the cards so you can go and check that out. Um, yeah, I really do feel like they're worth it. I'm definitely going to be getting more palettes. There's definitely the Mini Retro and then I think it's called Mini Tropics or something like that. So I'll do at least another two palettes that I want. I don't want all of them because all of the colour stories don't speak to me. I'm really, really glad it's come to me in one piece. I do, however, though, feel like the harder pressed into the palettes, the shimmers. I don't feel like when I kind of put my fingers in them to swatch them the pans don't move from side to side like they do in the glam palette so I do feel like I got a dodgy palette from Look Fantastic um, and I should have really sent it back but I swatched everything after they give me the discount um, and obviously when you're swatching things they wouldn't accept the return anyway even though it is faulty but yeah um, I decided to keep it with that 20% which was only £12 which paid for this a little bit as well um, I only had to put £10 to it so yeah I'm happy about that and then the last thing I got from them is this so this NYX lingerie and it is quite grey toned it's like brown grey toned lipstick now I wanted I wanted something like this one this is like a pink grey toned lipstick um, and Jeffree Star have that posh spice and um, it does look very very familiar but I don't really want to get it from Jeffree Star and I saw that NYX did some so they've got this one and they've got a shade called Honeymoon which I think I'm going to get next month um, I wanted to try this one first and see what this looks like and you'll see me wearing it in future videos I'm going to put it just behind on the lipstick um, edit for the month and we're going to be testing this out but yeah um, I definitely want to get um, a NYX one in this shade if I can um, so yeah this concludes the video guys that's everything I got from Cult Beauty there's one more thing coming um, on Monday from another company and then I'll be um, doing a roundup of everything that I got in the Black Friday sales the only thing that you can't see is obviously the Morphe palette that I've already given to my sister to wrap for Christmas for me but I have done a video on that anyway so um, you can see it there I haven't done swatches with the Morphe palette obviously because it's a Christmas present and I was telling my sister that as well last night and I said I was so tempted to dip my fingers in a few of the shades and she went well why didn't you? She said you could have done that and I'm like it's a Christmas present Sabina you know I can't just be swatching things when it's a Christmas present I have to wait now till Christmas day and she's like okay um, but yeah this concludes the video guys thank you so so much for watching i really do appreciate your time and support on the channel please like if you're not already subscribed i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and notifications bell down below please share and also please comment and i will see you in my next one bye guys